Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome to That's Not My Neighbor. This lovely little cartoony game is kind of sort of in the same vein as games like Papers, Please, where your job is to be a doorman, or doorwoman, or door person, whatever you prefer to look at it, and your job is to keep monsters out. Doppelgangers, I believe. How you go about doing that is probably going to be explained in detail throughout the game, or at least the introduction or the tutorial. So, let's just head right on into it and see what we can do. So we have different modes. Arcade mode, nightmare mode, not recommended for new players, you got it, man. The DDD is working on it, so there's going to be more game modes going forward. So right now, we've just got to deal with arcade mode. The doppelgangers you let in don't kill you immediately, but at the end of the run. Get a score rank at the end of the run according to your performance. Possibility of finding a bleat. The Chester's Quiz. So yeah, anything looks like that, you just don't want to let them in. I'm guessing some of them are going to be more obvious than others. Oh, we have an introductory video. I can't wait. I'm going to learn me how to do some game. Oh. I love that voice acting. That is so good. Following short film is a production of... Uh. Hello! If you're watching this film, it's because you're the new doorman in your building. Your job is to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger. Love this old timey music, it's great. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform into another person and impersonate them. Of course, everybody knows that. But some are not too good at it and can generate imperfections. Mm-hmm, lumpy. You don't want to be lumpy. You have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors. Also, remember to fill out the checklist for each neighbor. Indeed. Don't want anything to slip by. You can't miss any detail because it could mean death for you and your neighbors. Oh, God, good gosh, golly, good God. Wow. This is the structure of your office. Now we're going to explain how it works. See? Figured we'd get to it eventually. Here is a security window. Don't forget to observe very well each individual who approaches. Mm -hmm. On the right, you have folders with all the data of each neighbor according to the respective floor. I'm assuming that's going to change over time, depending on the day? Or maybe there won't be a day-night thing? I don't know. We'll find out. To fill out the checklist, take one of the lists in front of you. Okay. Receive documents from this hatch. Mm-hmm. I suppose if they phase them through the wall, they're probably a doppelganger. If you determine that the individual isn't a doppelganger, then allow them into the building with these buttons. Come on in. Otherwise, if you determine that it is in fact a doppelganger, press the emergency button and call 3312. To communicate with the DDD or any apartment in your building, use the telephone in front of you. Your job is really important, so make sure you do it right. Finally, we congratulate the doorman of the month, Henry. Look at this guy. Oh, he's a professional. It wasn't that he did an excellent job, but he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by doppelgangers. I suppose that's... Honestly, that's good enough. Be like Henry. Don't get eaten by doppelgangers. But better. <laughs> okay. That's funny. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. We are here. Oh, hi there. I like that. That is funny. Welcome and congratulations on your new job. As you can see on the introductory film, your job is to verify the entry of the neighbors of your building. Each day there will be a list of individuals who request entry to the building. Hmm, look at these fellas. It is possible that there are individuals who request entry and aren't on the list. Ah, they don't get allowed in anyway. In which case, you'll mark on the checklist that they are not on the list and proceed to question the individual. Also, you must verify that the ID and the entry request are correct and have the respective Triple D logo. Don't forget to also check the expiration on the IDs. Hmm. Yes. Remember, it's February 1955. Wish you all good luck! Yep, I see that here. It is the 10th of February, 1955, and it is not a leap year. Good to know. Okay. 
All right, First Lady. Good afternoon. How are you? Check your ID. Correct logo. Wasn't born in a weird year. Eight nine. This is the uh, correct expiration date, I guess. Mia Stone. Seven eight nine five six four five two five one one five. Hope I don't have to memorize all of that. What do we have here? Mia Stone. F O three. Oh, one. I am a resident of the building. I come from my job as a teacher. Hmm, I bet you do, you doppelganger. You go to doppelganger school. So you said you're from floor four, I'm guessing? Apartment one? Yes. Teacher, appearance, long hair, small round nose, freckles, oval face, thin eyebrows. Okay, I guess those are freckles. Yeah, big lips. Long hair is good. Doesn't mention hair color of any kind. All right. Apartment phone number 1425. And your ID number 78956-4525. 78956-4525. Okay. ID number lines up. I believe. Name is good. Job is good. Are you on the list? You are not on the list. ID is good. Appearance is good. Entry request is good, but is not on the list. Am I not on today's list? No, you're not. Think there's an error. I should be on the list. Look at the list again. Nope, you're not on here. Can I uh, call the apartment? Apartment phone number. 1425. Okay. Okay. One. Four. Two. Five. Okay. See if anybody picks up. Hello, Dr. W. Afton speaking. My fiance is not at home. Is she back? Yes, she is. Well, you're not on the list, but your ID, name, profession, and reason for visiting, it checks out. Okay. Go on in. Okay. Guess we're good to go. Alrighty, who's next? Uh... Huh. Uh... I just let you in. I'm not here to eat anyone. I only eat human food like everyone else. Let me in to make my normal human meals. Okay. So... You're a doppelganger. Alright. Yeah, so... <laughs> good try. Pretty good fake, but, uh, crew of agents has been sent to your building. All right. Please wait for the cleaning protocol to run. Yeah, uh, patiently await for sanitization. All right. Cleaning protocol is completed. All right. You can continue your job. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, that was definitely a doppelganger. What happens if I call somebody on somebody that isn't a doppelganger? Hey, how you doing? Good afternoon. Yeah, that's how I imagine this guy speaks. All right, and you are... McCloy Rude Boys. You got a hat on you. Big nose, mustache, cigar, hat, bushy brows, gray hair, scarf. Okay. Everything but the hat checks out. And there's the ID. ID looks good. What you got here? McCloy Rude Boys. Floor three, apartment three. I'm a resident of the building. I come from doing the shopping. Doing the shopping. Yeah, you're a little bit too old to be, like, millennial quirky. I don't know if I believe you. Where'd you get the hat, man? Where'd you get the hat? So you're floor three? Room three? Is that so? McCloy Rude Boys. Retired. Has a mustache, big nose, has a goatee, smokes, always wears a hat. Okay. How about that ID number? 9645-1618-4611. Expires three... Years from now, huh? Alright. 9645, 16118, 1618, 4611, 4611, 4611. Uh, you're a weirdo. You are a weirdo. Your entry request is kind of strange. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll check. I'm gonna check the floor. We're gonna make a phone call, just in case, because your, uh, coming back from doing the shopping thing is kind of suspicious. Steven speaking. My father is not at home. Okay. All right. Well, aside from you being a little bit too unnecessarily quirky, I guess everything checks out, and you are on the list. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. We will let it slide. So is everything in order? Yeah, appears to be. Can you open the door for me? Mm, all right. Go on in. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me, literally. Hi there. Hello. How are you? Illinois Sverched. Sver Sverged. Sverged. All right, Illinois Sverged. Three, 1980. Okay, I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a model. Do you now? What are you modeling for? Doppelganger Weekly? Doppelganger Illustrated? Hmm? Doppelganger Magazine? Yep. Okay, let's go down the list. Are you on the list? Illinois Virched, floor 104. So she's got a sibling, huh? A twin with a... Looks to be the birthmarks on a different side. The little wispy thing up top goes the other direction. Everything else seems to be about the same, though. I don't know why you don't open your eyes, though. It'd be a lot easier to see if you, you know, open your eyes. Okay, so you're from floor one, room four. Okay, okay, okay. So you're Illinois Sverched. Got the model on the right side there. Okay, the mole's on the right side. Small pointed nose, slim long neck has a twin. Small pointed nose, slim long neck. Okay. Guess we're good to go. Everything checks out there. Now let's check the, uh... 845323, 845323, 014 956. 014 Okay. Checks out. Everything appears to be in order. Entry request is good. Came home from a modeling job. The door, please. Well, you have a sister, though. Celine Sverched. 6996. We're gonna uh, do one check real quick. Interesting. Well, if nobody answered, I guess there's nobody home. Your sister must be out, huh? Well, everything appears to be in order. Head on in. All right. Everything's going good so far. Ah. Hi. Oh, uh, yeah, you're a weirdo. Do you like Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie all grown up here? What's going on? Robertski Peachman. Okay. You on the list? You sure are. Floor one, room two. One, two. Okay. Resident of the building. Come from my job as a shoemaker. And your ID, okay, we got 12, 1973. We're good. Robertski Peachman. All right, and you are floor one, room two. Long neck, without eyebrows, big nose, has a goatee. Yeah, all that checks out. Everything looks all right there. Let's check the ID number. 11465. 11465, 2289, 2289, 730. 730, okay. ID checks out, reason for coming back checks out, appearance checks out, and you are on the list. Everything is in order. Here's to be so. Haven't gotten eaten yet? Mm. Hello, good day. You're, uh, you're weird. So you're a fan of uh, purple, are you? Refetalin Cappuccini. That's a, that's a hell of a name you got there, lady. Six in 1962. Floor three, room four. Resident of the building, I went out to visit my parents. All right, so we're fettling cappuccini. Long face, big nose, straight hair, wears a headband. Long face, big nose, straight hair, headband, check. She is a housewife. All right, are you on the list? You are on the list, looks good. Floor three, four. How about that ID number? Five, six, eight, five, five. Five, six, eight, five, five. Expiration date checks out as well. I got four, five, nine, six. Four, five, 96, and 329. 329. And the correct logo. Everything appears to be squared away. Nothing out of the ordinary about the list. You're good to go. Come on in. Come on down. Better not eat anybody while you're in there. <laughs> That's a crazy, right? Alrighty, who's next? Ah! The other one. Mole on the other side. Hair is a little different. Different colored shirt. So you must be Celine Sverched. Celine Sverched. 3, 1980. Makes sense. Floor 104, coming from job as a model. Mm, two models. All right. Mole on right cheek, small pointy nose, slim, long neck, has a twin. So everything between the two is the same. The only difference is, I guess the hair is different and the mole. Pointy nose, mole, slim, long neck. Everything appears to be good. All right, let's check the ID then. 785613, 7856.13, 269, 514. 269514. And the ID has a decent expiration date and the correct logo. And everything appears to be good to go here. 
It's been a while since we've had an, a, uh, a doppelganger. Excellent. At all, please. I mean, she's on the list. She didn't answer the phone when her sister came through. I guess we're good. Oh. Nope. Yep, he's missing a nose. Normally people have those. All right. I'm waiting for the door to open up and the guy be like, Yo, that wasn't actually a doppelganger. You just killed a guy. <laughs> okay. I like how it doesn't confirm whether or not that actually was a doppelganger. It just takes care of business. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me! Peach, 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 peach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> peach, 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 pee, pee, peach, peach, pee, peach, pee, 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 peach, 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 pee, pee, peach, 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 pee, peach. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, sir. You are not on the list. I'm gonna have to mark everything wrong. P P P peach 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 P P peach peach P peach. Okay. <laughs> That's totally how people talk. You just gonna keep going? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think so. Uh, no. Yeah, come clean up some peaches. Alrighty, good to go. <laughs> clean the protocol complete. You continue your job. Just, you know, don't mind the stains. It's fine. Alrighty, Milkman. Mmm, hello. Ah, sorry. Ah, and what were you doing out today? Off to visit someone's wife, probably. Alright, Francis Mos Mosses. Francis Mosses. How are you, Francis Mosses? No hat, bow tie. Looks pretty tired. Looks like he's been up for a while. Yep, the bag's under the eyes, checks out. Floor 302. Alright, Francis Moses. He lives by himself, so if I call and he answers, if anybody answers, it's gonna be a problem. Alright, long nose, thin chin, tired eyes, short hair, where's a hat? Alright, long nose, thin chin, tired eyes, where's a hat? Alright, let's check the ID. 23556. 23556. We got 9418. 995, 9418, 995. Everything looks good. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a milkman. I mean, I certainly hope so. I'm assuming you're not just walking around wearing a milkman hat. That's kind of strange. And you are on the list. So, ID is good. Appearance is good. Entry request is good. And on the list. Ooh. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, something about the way you're speaking is kind of bothering me. Better hope to God nobody answers. You're about to get sanitized. Okay. Guess you're good to go. Go on in. Uh, hi? You already came home today. Uh, Robert Peachman, resident of the building. I come for my job as a shoemaker. Yeah, that's neat and all, but I'm gonna have to call up. Because you are already here. 2668. We're gonna have to verify that, because unless you snuck out the back door, I'm telling you. You're already here. Hello, Robert Ski Peachman speaking. My brother and I are in the apartment right now. We are not expecting any visitors today. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. You're, uh... You're about to get sanitized. And another doppelganger sanitized. Yep, there we go. All done. Good to go. All in a day's work. What can I say? You can continue your job. Who on earth is next? Hmm. Good afternoon. Hmm. Well, I already called up. You have a sibling, yes? 8, 1960, you do. Or a child, maybe, that lives up there with you. Floor 304, you're a lawyer and a resident. Yeah, I already checked for you. You didn't answer the phone, so I could verify that she was allowed. So I guess check your appearance and make sure you're good to go. We'll go through the list, though. We'll check it all out. I know you're not up there. You didn't answer, so. So we got big nose, prominent mustache, monocle hat, round face. Big nose, prominent mustache, monocle, round face. ID's good. We got 120548. 120548. 96347. 96347. Okay. We are good to go. And your appearance checks out. Are you on the list? You are on the list. Okay. ID, appearance, entry, and everything is good to go. Everything's in order. Come on in. Uh. Oh, good afternoon. Hmm. Yeah, I almost want to sanitize you just for the hell of it. You are not on the list. Not on the list. Why aren't you on the list? Am I not on today's list? No, you're not. I think there's an error. I should be on the list. That's what they all say. Look at the list again. No. No, you're not on the list. 
Oh, sweet baby Jesus, I just got jump scared IRL by lightning. That's horrifying. Okay, anyways. So, Isaac Goss. Interesting. You are not on today's list. I'm a resident of the building. My apartment is the number two on the second floor, okay? Floor 2-2. Two, two. I mean, everything looks right in your appearance. 2-2. Two, two. Isaac Goss. He's a reporter. Big eyebrows, big smile, prominent chin, big nose. Uh, that ain't right. Your nose, your eyes, they don't match. I'll check the ID, though. Yeah, that just doesn't... I don't know. The picture here and the picture here doesn't look the same. I don't know. Something's off about you. Entry request and your ID works. What's wrong with my appearance? Yeah, something's up. Look carefully at the photos of my papers and compare them well with me. I don't know. So I'm gonna call you. 7332. Better not answer. Oh, uh, yep. See? I had a hunch. Yep, there it is. I knew it. Yeah, buddy. Get roasted. Almost had me, though. I was about ready to let him in, but just something about that face. What can I say? All right, we got that guy sanitized, thank God. See, I had a feeling about him. I looked at that guy, and as soon as he walked in here, I was like, yep, that dude needs sanitized. Oh. Good afternoon. What is this, uh, Inspector Gadget here? What's going on? Roman Stilinski. Let's check the ID. Where do you live? Floor one, room one, a resident of the building. My job is a public accountant. Okay, Squidward here. Long nose, frown, scar, long nose, frown, scar. He's got a hat on. Got to check that. All right, floor one, room one, eh? All right, scar, everything matches up there. Big nose, scar on right chin, long face, eyebrow. One eyebrow wears a hat. Long face, eyebrow wears a hat. Scar on the right side, everything looks good there. Appearance is good. Entry request is okay, I suppose. Are you on the list? You are not on the list. All right, what about your ID number? 483924, 483924, 0596840, 0596840. He's an accountant, he said. You are a public accountant. Everything checks out, except that you are not on the list. Not on the list because I had to leave due to an emergency at work. Interesting. You have a lot of emergencies at your accounting job? What on earth would the emergency be? Something's fishy about that. We're gonna call anyway. Okay, let's see. Lois Stilinski. Alright, your wife answered. Husband is not at home. Is he back? Okay, everything checks out. Hope you had a good time with your emergency accounting you had to do, you weirdo. Uh... I? Ever dream this clown? Every night all over the world, hundreds of people see this clown in their dreams. If this clown appears in your dreams, don't play any game with him. If you want more intro... Oh, God. Nachogames.itch.io slash unlikey. Interesting. Uh, oh, you're just leaving. Good, I was about to sanitize you. Huh. Oh! Hello? Oh, how are you doing? Uh, what is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything? Uh, 42? What is the scientific name of the Australian animal that drastically changes its appearance when removed from its natural habitat? Uh, my balls. Oh, I figured. I don't know the scientific name of it, but I'm pretty sure that's the blobfish. I think. I think I remember that's Australian, because remember, it looks normal in the deep ocean then when it gets caught in a nest. Oh. I've been eaten. So, I got got. I allowed a doppel in and I killed a neighbor. How did I do that? Okay. All right, let's go for another round. So we still have this card here. Welcome and congratulations, indeed. Well, I got eaten. Still got my clown card here. Today's list, we got a whole new set. Oh, you again. Hello? What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? 42, are you gonna ask me the same question again? Yep, scientific name of Australian animal. I don't know what the scientific name is. Nobody knows what the scientific name is. Blobfish. I don't know. Goodbye. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Hopefully I don't kill anybody this time. I guess I gotta kinda chill a little bit. I kind of, uh... <laughs> probably just looked at a guy and like, You're kinda weird, I'm gonna sanitize you. Ooh. What? Not off to a very good start, man. Come on, doppelgangers, you can try better than that. 
Where are these doppelgangers learning how to dress like this? It's just terrible. All right, how are you? Lady, good afternoon. Um, you're missing something. Gloria Schmidt. Okay, everything seems to be over there. You are not on the list. And I got no idea where you're from. No entry request. I guess appearance is fine. Not on the list. Where, where are you from? Second floor. Banker, round face, mole on right cheek, short hair, round nose. Okay. All right, Gloria Schmidt. All right, let's check that ID. 698522, 6985223411503411150. So why don't you have an entry request? Huh? Forgot to show my entry request. Here it is. Yeah, okay. Am I not on today's list? No, you're not. If there's an error, I should be on the list. Come from your job as a banker. Resident of the building. Yeah, no, that's suspicious. I'm afraid that's a little bit too suspicious for my taste. 5123. Yep, we're calling you. Gloria Schmidt speaking. Oh, okay. Nope, purge. So that many doppelgangers in a row, huh? All right, this lady again. Hello. Illinois Svirched. Okay, everything looks normal here. I have seen you before. Uh, no entry request? Again? We just, is, is today international don't hand out your entry request day? Did I not hear about this? Interesting. You're also not on the list. Not on the list. No entry request. I believe you live, uh, floor, there we go, one four. And you are Illinois, huh? All right, model, mole on the left cheek, small pointed nose, slim long neck has a twin. Slim long neck has a twin, pointed nose, mole on the left cheek. Let's check that ID number. 845323. 8453230149560149566. Okay, and the correct logo and the expiration date is correct. And you are not on the list, so you uh your ID and your appearance is good, but once again, entry request and ID is wrong. Okay. Not on today's list. No, you're not. If there's an error, I should be on it. Yeah. Okay, sure. Resident of the building, I come from my job as a model. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm just not buying it. Not buying it, lady. We're gonna call up, see if your sister's home. Celine Schwartz speaking. My sister is not at home. Hmm. Sister's not home. Come from your job as a model. I guess that checks out. I guess everything's good. Come on in. Okay, so one person was normal. I guess that's fine. Oh, hello. You're a... Uh, once again, a really weird-looking lady. Finally, somebody has their entry request. Isn't that amazing? Resident of the building went out for my job as a seamstress, Margaret Bowles. I love that. 1975, are you on the list? You are on the list. All right, what have we here? Curly hair, deviated left eye, round nose, big smile. Deviated left eye, round nose, big smile. And curly hair, checks out. Okay, now let's check that ID. Seamstress is right. Seamstress is right. And let's check 10326. 8014 10326 8014 590 590. Well, your ID is good. Your entry request is good. Date's good. Everything checks out. Come on in. Ah, hello. Hi or whatever. Okay. Sounds like you need purged. I live here or whatever. I come from the school. Okay. Anastasia McCauley's. Dude, that is. I hate you. I hate you so much already. All right, well, no ID, huh? What's up with that? Forgot to show my ID, did ya? Whatever, yeah, it'll be whatever when you're getting sanitized. Won't be very fun. Okay, so you live floor 12. My entry request, yeah. You do, you think everything's fine. You live on a floor that doesn't exist, do you? Hmm. Purge. Hope you didn't just make a mistake. It's a bad day to make mistakes when I'm the doorman. If I don't like your face, you're getting sanitized. Yeah. Yeah, good. You killed that little girl. Thank God. I was getting worried. Didn't like her nonchalant attitude. If anybody's gonna show no emotion about anything around here, it's gonna be me. Okay. Good afternoon. Hello. You again. How are we? Alf Capuchin? Okay. Everything seems to be normal about how you normally dress. Resident of the building, my apartment is on uh, the four on the third floor. 
three, four. This is you. Okay, so we got the right logo, the right date. Let's check that ID number, 12548. 120548. We got 096347. 096347. You don't have anything about your uh, employment here. Just say where you live. Is the four on the third floor? Four on the third floor. This is you, big nose, prominent mustache, monocle, hat, round face. Big nose, prominent mustache, hat, monocle, round face. Are you on the list? And you're on the list. I'm gonna check anyway, just to be safe. Rafetalin speaking. Okay, good. He didn't pick it up. My husband is not at home. Is he back? No, he is. All right, come on in. All right. Ah, you. I killed your doppelganger earlier today. How are you? Steven Rudeboys. You are the pilot, yes? You are on the list. Floor 303. Excellent. Pilot, big nose, glasses, short hair, small head. Big nose, glasses, short hair, small head. I guess that's a small head. I don't know. Seems normal size head to me. Two, 1966. Okay, date's good. Logo's good. Five, six, five, eight, four, five. Five, six, five, eight, four, five. Four, five, five, nine, six, five. Okay. You're a pilot. Yep, you are a pilot. Everything appears to check out. Everything's in order. Come on in. Uh, huh. Well, I just purged you earlier, so you're probably real. Yeah, floor 204, that's already better. Okay, tired eyes, two ponytails, small nose, round face. Tired eyes, two ponytails, small nose, round face. Okay. Let's check that ID then. Good, good. 132698. 132698. 534462. 534462. Looks good. You come from the school. You are a student. You live here. Are you on the list? You are on the list. And since I purged you already, everything should be good to go. Everything's nice. Oh! <laughs> ah, yeah, you're, uh... What's up with that? What's up with that appearance? My appearance? What's wrong with my eyes? Yeah, what's wrong with them? They're normal human eyes. Yeah, and this is my normal human big red button. Now you're about to meet some normal humans in a hazmat suit. And those normal humans in a hazmat suit are going to blast you in the face with a normal human shotgun. Or however sanitization works. Mmm. Slime ball McScumbag here. Okay, what do we got? Angus Cipriani. Okay. This guy looks like he knows a guy. We got the good logo, 1968, and you are from floor one, room three, eh? Okay, Angus Cipriani, long neck, hat, mustache, small eyes. Let's check that ID number, 56500, 56500, 36988 45. 36988 45. 55135. Five, 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 all right, well, that is the basic arcade mode of That's Not My Neighbor. We had one unsuccessful round and one perfect round. Didn't kill anybody, other than the ones that were supposed to be killed. Didn't let any doppelgangers in, and I didn't get eaten myself. So I did a good job. I've done well. But yeah, that is the arcade mode. Maybe I'll come back and we will try out nightmare mode. Because that looks like all kinds of freaky. Not recommended for new players. Doppelgangers kill you immediately after you let them in. Wait, something if wrong with the neighbors, Chester's back and it's evil. Okay, cool. Yeah, maybe we'll uh, give that a try at some point here. But for now, the basic mode. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. It's simple, but I really enjoyed this. So definitely check this out on itch.io. And uh, go check out that weird clown thing that was mentioned in the card. But anyways, like I said, that's going to be it for That's Not My Neighbor. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always... Thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.